Well, hey, good morning, everybody. It is um, Saturday morning. This is actually day seven. Uh, as mentioned, as you can see, I stayed in this cabin, the Blood Mountain uh, cabins last night. It was pretty awesome. Um, but I was gonna tell you about some of the gear that I changed. Now, one of the things I thought about is, if you know, and if you're parents, you'll get this. There's a lot of people that say, man, when I have kids, my kids will never do this, or this is what I'm gonna do when I have kids. Well, and then of course you have kids and you realize that it doesn't always work out that way. Well, it's kind of the same thing that I'm learning about this long distance backpacking. I thought I really had a good idea. And I mean, I did feel like I had good information and knowledge and whatnot, but there's so much more I can learn. I mean, I get out here, I feel like I've gone from the minor leagues to the pros with a lot of these folks. So I'm listening and learning and uh, just wanted to share with you a few things I changed. And uh, you know, one of the benefits of the AT with so many places to stop, um, there's an opportunity to change your change your kit. And I, I felt it was smart to do that. So I just wanted to share some of the um, equipment that I did get, and they were kind of big purchases, but I'm gonna tell you the first thing I did is I changed my, my pack. Um, I changed to a, this is a, what do they call it? Hyperlite mountain gear. Um, it's, it's really just like a, a dry sack that you roll the top down and it's got straps on it. And those of you that know, I mean, it cost a pretty penny, but listen, man, that was a game changer yesterday. I felt better. I mean, I'm sure I'm getting a little bit stronger, but I mean, I felt better after yesterday's hike than I had all the days prior. And then last night, uh, the one thing that was bothering me though, was my feet. And so, um, then last night, so I haven't hiked in them yet but I did buy some new shoes. I got these Ultra um, Olympus. It's kind of a trail runner. Um, so you can see it's not a boot, but um, if you look back on one of my early videos, I even say, yeah, hey, I know everybody's talking about trail runners, but I'm gonna wear those boots. But man, my toes were killing me. I, I don't think it was the right size and coming down Blood Mountain yesterday, it was killing my toes. Um, I did get a, also a little reservoir. You know, this is to hold, you, Fill it up with dirty water, and then you put your filter on the on the top of this and fill in your, your bottle. So anyway, I'm about to get started. I got a game plan um, for the next four days. I got three three nights of food, and uh, so I plan on being at, at shelters or tent camping. And uh, I'm hoping to be in North Carolina by, uh, by Tuesday is what it's looking like. Yep, no, Wednesday, Wednesday. I'm gonna get Hawassi Tuesday and then hit North Carolina Wednesday. But like we know that all changes. So anyway, that's what's going on here. I feel like I'm walking through a winter wonderland. This ice is stuck to all the trees. Reminds me of Narnia. I read all those Lion, Witch in the Wardrobe books when I was a kid. Maybe I'll find a lamppost up here. This is so cool. All right, it's super cool out here. And I actually had my first fall. I slipped. Uh, ironically, I was coming up on some other hikers and was kind of looking at them and not paying attention to where I was stepping. This is kind of cool. Uh, this tree has fallen. No telling how long it's been, but you can see the all the marks. And that's where bugs and that kind of good stuff up under the bark has eaten away and made it their little trails it's kind of cool it looks like ancient writing or something but that's just the what was left over from the the bugs and now that the bark's gone it's exposed pretty awesome starting them young out here yeah that's awesome Excuse me for breathing hard. This is just a part of the trail. They do not believe in what we call switchbacks is when you kind of zigzag up the mountain. This joker is straight up. And then back here, just straight up. It probably doesn't look, you probably can't tell elevation on the video, but anyway, making it one step at a time. All right, this is gonna be home for the night, um, day seven. I'm at Low Gap Shelter, which is about mile 42. Can't count those uh, that approach trail anymore. So that's 42 on the AT. 
and uh, a lot of people down there in the shelter and a lot of people hammocking out here and uh, I actually got a Boy Scout troop that's coming to set up so it's a happening place end of a good day hey good morning well made it through the night it's pretty cold but not too bad so I was at deep gap shelter no excuse me low gap shelter uh, last night and uh, trying to make it to Rocky Mountain or thereabouts it's about 11 or 12 miles and then uh, you know looking forward to Hawassi in a couple days so excited about that listen I got to tell you my feet were killing me with the shoes that I was wearing and I was just wearing boots that I'd always worn and I think they weren't the right size so I changed to those shoes that I shared with you about and I realized why everybody's so so up on them I mean my my foot pain was immediately gone I mean don't get me wrong my feet are still a little sore from you know walking as much but so I am so thankful uh, between that backpack change and my foot, foot, you know, my shoes change. It's really been nice. Hey, and one other thing that was cool, you know, I'm new to this YouTube thing. And uh, there was a guy, you know, I've been watching YouTube videos, people hiking for years. And uh, there's this guy, Jay Wanders Out, that's out. He's He's a few days ahead of me. But uh, I was watching him before I came out here, and he subscribed to me. How about that? That was cool. So uh, now I'll tell you, if you want to see some really good, you know, videography and editing, he's the guy for that. I'm just out here kind of messing around. But, um, you know, so check him out. Uh, Jay Wanders Out. He's really doing a good job with that. But uh, anyway, that's what's going on today. So far, the trail's been nice. I've been blessed with weather, um, and uh, so I'm just enjoying that. All right, I'm going to stop right here at this little stream and get some water. And I'm going to explain to you. It's real important that you filter your water or treat it somehow. You know, you can boil it. Uh, some people use tablets that have the chemicals that kill it. Some people have actually, uh, there's some steri pins that the UV light um, will kill all the bacteria in the water but i'm i i'm explain to you how i do mine which is the way most people do it out here all right so oh, i don't know if you can see me so what i have this is a it's called a catadine or catadine b free it's just a different type they have different types of filters but uh the filter is actually right here so it's just you know it, it's a fine enough filter to where it, it takes all the bad stuff out so you can just, the way this one works is you just fill the, fill it up with water, put the lid on it, and then I can drink it and it's just as clean and fresh. So, but the first night I was out, I made the mistake and left this filter out and it froze. It don't like being frozen because remember we were talking about with the ice crystals and the water expands so with the water in here when it freezes it ruined it so i had to buy another one so lesson learned that's the thing out here is i guess if you make a mistake just don't do it again or try not to but that's how you filter your water and get your water out here showed you a smooth path a little bit of a rocky path here all kind of variations There's nothing like coming out of the mountain and seeing some trail magic down there. Man, I have been blessed. Ooh, excited. We'll go see what this guy's all about. All right, so I was right. Took some up from the top of the hill. That's my man, Paul. We got everything. You said you, said, you were saying you come out every weekend during this season. About every other weekend. Wow. Yeah. That's really a blessing. You section hiked in 2015? 15, 16, and 17. Awesome, awesome. Thank you so much. And all kinds of spreads here. day I forget what day it is maybe seven but I uh, found a place to put the tent up under this stuff we were at uh what's the name of this place cheesecake factory campsite and check this out these guys I was hiking with two beards 
they're quicker hikers than I am. They got here already and got a fire, and it's all good. But anyway, good day. It was the uh, longest day I've ever had. I am whooped. I hope it'll equate to a great night's sleep.